I done shed blood, sweat, and tears for a lifetime. They will never understand where we from. my am on my way, 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 yeah. Yo, 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 what's up, everyone out there in the OP squad? I'm hoping that you all are having a wonderful and beautiful day. Today, I'm not doing a crazy intro. You know who I am. You know what you came here for. The fastest Stardust source farm in the game, faster than every silo. I'm going to show you exactly where it's located, and you can jump right into it so you can actually run through this yourself and get as many of these gold items, mods, and gear as you want. Literally, this is the Leah Research. You can literally go up to this top one right here or to this bottom teleporter and go right over here. If you hover over the Leah Research Lab, press and hold Control, and then it'll fix it to the screen. This is where you can get Platinum Crystals, Stardust Source, Weapon Mods, and Armor Mods. But keep in mind, it does not show it up here, but you can actually get weapons from here also. Gold weapons, purple weapons. I'm going to show you right here. Here's the proof. You can actually look at this real quick and see I have all of these weapons, including the last Valor, if you want to farm those calibration blueprints, okay? You can go over here to the melee. You can see I got the Kukri, the Mass Immune, all types of weapons. It's so crazy. I did not get that frozen tilapia from here, but that's one that I crafted. But the other ones you see, obviously, that's how you get it. If you scroll down, you can actually see how much Stardust I farmed over the last maybe like 15 minutes. It's been so, so easy. I've literally ran through this so many times. So I'm just going to show you how fast it is after I heal up, run into this dungeon. I'm not going to do any type of cutting or editing. You're going to get the raw footage. The only thing that I did right here was take out the sound because it was a whole bunch of stuff in the background. We're just going to go right into it. As you see, I start in this room right here, You jump right over this railing. You don't have to fight any of these enemies. You don't have to grab anything in here. Open up this door right here and go right into the next room. It's so, so simple. Fight the one on the left first just because you don't want to get frozen. This one can actually freeze you. You don't want to have to deal with that. Break the shield. It'll stun them. Knock them down to their knees. Drop them. And then you end them. All right. Super simple. If you have your wolves, you can actually have your wolves to come out and put some work in. And you get that damage buff of 50%. Break the shield on the fire one. Make sure you're in the circle for anybody that does not know how this works. Kill them in the circle. You don't have to fight anybody because they'll all die. And then you go ahead and pick up your cash. It's super simple, man. It's very, very easy. Now, I'm going to show you something very, very important. You can farm the Rebecca deviation in here. All you have to do is go to exit dungeon. Go right back out and I'm going to show you how you do this. It's so, so simple. Everybody's like, hey, listen, I want to farm Rebecca because I want to get that five out of five version of her. Cool. But I got to do Leah raid. No, you don't. You don't have to complete the raid in order to get her. You can literally farm her in this one room. Go back in here. Reset the progress. It'll reset the dungeon. Go to enter. Go right back in. And I'm going to show you how this works. You're actually going to see Rebecca drop right here. So this is not somebody saying that you can do it and you don't have visual proof. I'm going to show you the proof that you can literally farm Rebecca in this specific room. I love this room. I love this farm. Everything about it is just fun and amazing. Let's go ahead and take out this one on the left. Had to eat a little food, get my bus back. You know what I'm saying? You can use these uh, tubes up there, these containers, to actually block a lot of those hits if you need to. And just so you can actually understand what's going on, I'm not going to heal. It's going to automatically heal right here. That's the living armor whim. You can actually get that very easily. Um, I'll actually show you how to get it. It's a special deviation that allows you to grab that. And then you kill those and everybody else will die. And watch this. Look at that on the screen. Rebecca just popped up. Do you see her? And it's a level two version. So that's better than a level one, obviously. I love that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I have more tips and tricks coming up. And you can actually see the rewards right here once I open up with this controller. And bam, we got another Kukri. Just so you can see, you get gold weapons, gold mods. You get gold gear sometimes. It depends if they drop something or not. But sometimes you'll actually get certain things. But you get a lot of Stardust Source, special plastic, and automatic parts. Yo, what's up with this dude right here? Back up, fam. What you doing? Run up on me. I hope everybody enjoyed this. And if you found this information informative or helpful in any type of way, Please make sure you drop a like to support the channel. Keep us popping in the algorithm. And to all of my subscribers who would like to support me further, you can join a membership, which will give you access to my special game help feature in my Discord, where you can request help on any game that I play. Member rewards will be coming soon, so stay tuned. And on top of that, whenever I'm live, you can use all of the emotes to have fun and chat. I hope that you all enjoyed this. Cheese up. I had to break them chains off me. Got a trillion dollar mentality. Nobody 
stopping my goals. I had to break them chains off me. I'm the definition of.